Today at Bikes Built Better, we're trying out a new product that is supposed to remove melted on boot rubber and stuff like that from chrome exhaust pipes. It's from a company called Hogwash and the product is called Melt Magic. And this is what a bottle of the stuff looks like. This exhaust system had a close encounter with a rain suit last year on a long trip so the burned on stuff has been thoroughly cooked onto the exhaust system. Let's see if this stuff will work on a nasty mark like this one. The instructions say to let the pipes cool off, which they have. Then you shake the bottle thoroughly. You spray an ample amount of the Melt Magic directly onto the debris, as they call it, and allow it to sit for five to ten minutes to penetrate and soften the debris so that it can be peeled off. So let's take a break now. We'll wait ten minutes and come back and see how this stuff is doing. The Melt Magic has now been sitting for over 10 minutes and we're going to try and remove this stuff. They tell you to peel it off but I don't think we have enough thickness here to do any peeling. It's really a very thin coating of stuff. First I'm going to try just wiping it off with a rag and see how that goes. It's taking a little bit off. Not a lot. Okay, as an alternative, they tell you to use this little plastic scraper, which looks like a razor blade, that they attach to the back of the bottle. So I'll see if that does anything. Looks like both edges are sort of sharp. Let's see how that goes. Oh, no. No, not really. Oh, that, that piece started to come off. That was a thicker bit. I think that's about all I'm going to get off this time. They do say to shake the bottle again and do another application and let it sit again to see if you can get more stuff off. I'll let that sit for another 10 or 15 minutes. We have now let this pipe sit soaking with the Melt Magic for another round of 10 minutes. And I'm going to see if I can scrape any more of this stuff off. Again, the problem seems to be that it's very thin. I did get a little more of the stuff off the thicker areas. I think if we had a good thick glob, this would be working a whole lot better than it is. What I'm actually going to do this time is to put a rag over it and soak it down good with this stuff and let it sit again for a good long time and see if that helps at all. This stuff has now been soaking for over an hour while this cloth was draped over it to help hold it in contact with the uh, burnt on goo. So let's take this off, see if we're making any progress. And we've got some stuff on the cloth, so it's helping a little. more with this little scraper. Well, it actually is getting a little more of the material off.
We've now been through four applications of the Melt Magic and done quite a bit of scraping with that little plastic blade that they gave us. And we did get an awful lot of this stuff off. It's definitely not all gone, and I would have to say that this was probably a really tough test for this stuff because the material that was melted on was very thin and it had been burned on there for over 700 miles and it had been then left to sit for about six months before we even tried to remove it. So I think that there is definitely a good application for this stuff but that this was probably the worst case scenario we've ever seen. If we do find another application where it seems like it will work a little better, we will give it another shot. That's it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.